So here we are on Christmas Eve with Blue and Fifi, and they actually have been together for a couple of hours. Now you see that, that just happened. Um, anytime they go into a new space or it gets disturbed, we go through this. Um, it always calms down though, and when it, that's another thing he likes to do is pull up the bath mats. Boy, does he like to do that. I don't know if he does a lot of digging at home. Um, but she runs and he chases and then they settle down. They were cuddling for quite some time today. And they can sit side by side, so that's always a good thing. Still have not seen any grooming. Now you saw how his ears went back a little bit there. Uh, normally that would be a bad thing, but like I said, they always, nothing ever comes of it. And then they can... They can sit and cuddle like that. So um, I'm really thinking that I'm going to start giving them minimal supervision starting today, which is kind of, you know, Christmas Eve, right? If you need a bet, good luck. Um, so hopefully nothing happens like that. Um, I don't think it will. I feel pretty comfortable with both of them right now. And uh, I'd feel a lot better if there was some grooming. So where I was trying to go with all that is that I think uh, we'll have to see how he reacts with her in his territory. He's doing pretty relaxed right now. He's very domineering of her, meaning he likes to, oh, herd her around and send her to where he wants her to be. You're very cute, sweetie, when you do that. Um, her eye. Let's talk about that a little bit. Um, the more I look at it, you know, I clean it and the stuff is back right away. Um, it's all it is is the is the dried tears that she's producing, and um, I don't see any redness around the eye. So I think it's just the dried tears, and then they get caught in the hair, and then they just kind of crystallize in the hair, and that's kind of what we're seeing. Um, still not a bad idea, of course, to have a vet look at it, but I don't think it's anything at all to be concerned about. Um, I'll try and get her in before she goes home. I, I don't know. I haven't really tried to call in for an appointment. Um, now, I'm thinking if, they're, if they can spend the night together tonight and uh, then they're okay tomorrow, um, Probably I'd like for them to spend another night together, Sunday night, because uh, Monday will be kind of in and out and around more than tomorrow. I don't want to be at Christmas lunch wondering what these two are doing, even though I could set up a camera. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Um, but where I'm going, the service isn't great, so I'm a little worried about that. Anyway, uh, what is your schedule like next week? It would be nice if they could come home on a day when you're going to have an overnight to be with them and the next day to be with them in case he turns on her. That's my only concern is that in his territory he might get a little bit aggressive with her. Um, so let me know what your schedule looks like. I certainly don't mind keeping him as long as I need to. Um, let's see, I've got, I've got a pair of them sitting but they go home Monday, and then Tuesday I get a single that uh, is going to be adopted on Wednesday. So I'm I'm in and out the whole week, but uh, let me know what your schedule is. And on Wednesday I have to go to the Santa Fe shelter. So I think I'm going to leave them here now and go clean their area downstairs and put them in there and see how they react. That's more of a territorial thing because both of them have been side by side in pens down there so it's kind of their area. So it'll be interesting to see how they react down there. But uh, I sent you the uh, Christmas picture so that uh, came out pretty good. So hopefully that's the first of many for these guys. And I'll give you
give you another update, not video update, but I'll send you a text, let you know how it's going later on towards the evening.